Baker is standing by. I love that. I think that's the precursor to the big balloon parade in New York. And it's the it's Butte history students and history club students um, underneath that dragon. I think that's so fun. You know, and the good news is it's not going to be too terribly cold for you this weekend, and you're going to see some sunshine. So sunshine temperatures upper 20s, not a bad weekend if you're going to be taking part in that parade. Now this morning, if you're going to hit the roads, it's going to be slick out. Snow slush and ice being reported. This is McDonald Pass this morning. Uh, we've got snow out there. Uh, as far as uh, some travel concerns, we've got change required for towing units over Rogers Pass this morning. 21 is your air temperature in Butte. 31 is the air temperature in Calais spell. We're right between that and Bozeman, Dillon, and Missoula in the mid to upper 20s. Radar's not overly impressive, but we did see a little bit of light snow overnight. We're going to continue to track some snow showers today. A couple of weak disturbances move through. Now, at times, there's going to be the risk of maybe a wintry mix of rain and snow because valley temperatures warming above freezing for us as we head into the late afternoon. But once that sun sets, we change back over to all snow. And once the sun sets and temperatures drop, we're going to see roads icing up. This is 7 o'clock tonight, CD Lake area. You've got some snow showers. Missoula could have a little light snow. Same goes for the Butte area uh, and down around uh, Big Sky. More snow for uh, ski hills. Then as we head into your Friday, we still have snow in the forecast between Butte and Bozeman at 10 a.m. Stryker to Eureka, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, looking at a little bit of light snow. Now, as far as additional snow amounts go, it's a general range of, say, around 1 to 4 inches between today and into your Friday, losing the shower thread as we head into the weekend. Uh, mountain passes could see a bit more. Mountain passes could see upwards of around uh, maybe uh, 4 or 5 inches of snow. That does include the Lookout Pass area and Lolo Pass. If you're traveling, I keep that in mind. But uh, if you're traveling, even in our Valley location, Locations throughout the next 24 to 48 hours. We're expecting that snow to accumulate. No winter weather advisories out for your Friday, but that could change. Should one be issued, you'll be the first to know about it if you download our NBC Montana weather app. Just search NBC Montana in your app store. Today, temperatures mid 30, so again, slushy snow this afternoon. Uh, road conditions yeah, could be fairly wet for your drive home. Then, as we head into the overnight hours, those roads are going to freeze as temperatures drop into the teens and 20s. Here's that 10 day forecast as promised. Lingering snow Friday. You'll enjoy some sunshine this weekend in Kalispell. Temperature right around 32 Saturday, 33 Sunday. Lows getting cold though, but that's normal for this time of year to see those lows dipping into the teens. Valentine's Day, there's a slight chance of a shower with that temperature a degree above freezing. For Missoula, mid-30s today and tomorrow. Now, of course, we'll see lingering snow. You saw that on our future tracker forecast when we took it on into your Friday. Losing the shower threat this weekend. High temperatures low 30s, so a bit below normal for this time of year. Next week, some active weather with a daily threat of showers Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For Butte, your Sunday forecast 31 Friday a little bit of snowfall for you this weekend mostly sunny skies temperatures 20 Saturday mid 30s for you Sunday into your Monday slight chance of showers next week with overnight lows dipping into the teens and single digits Bozeman 10 day forecast for you a little light snow lingering into your Friday temperatures in the 20s to low 30s this weekend partly sunny skies expected both Saturday and Sunday overnight lows look at that eight degrees Saturday night and Sunday morning in Bozeman so it is definitely going to be colder and just in these last few minutes, Brooke, I see new um, crashes on I-15 just south of Butte. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got one on I-90 just east of Bozeman, also one south of Whitefish, and one out um, west of Kalispell. I'm thinking that's toward Happy's in there. Gotcha. You know, roads this morning may look a little bit wet, look like they're I guess some, just some slush out there, uh, but there's still areas of ice, and that's what Montana Department of Transportation is advising, snow, slush, and ice on roads this morning. All right. Thanks so much. And again, we do have a two-hour delay that we had an email come to us for, um, for the Corvallis schools this morning. And we do have that posted quickly on our news and weather apps so that uh, if you download those, you're going to get these kind of alerts right away. All right, still coming up this morning in our morning sprint, a division of a manufacturer for products used in technology and power is announcing it's pulling one of its divisions out of Butte. And this is a live look for you over a snowy Bozeman this morning from our Opportunity Bank of